Right folks, how's it going? Back again. Um, just a wee quick one, but it's my birthday, so I'm going to treat myself. Uh, now, this little beer is the one that I thought I had major, major issues with. And it was the Munton's handcrafted American style IPA kit. Quite a new one, I haven't seen many people reviewing it online. But, uh, yeah. I brewed it up on the 18th of February and it was in a fermenter till the 12th of March so it was like oh, a day over three weeks I think for it to ferment out, it took ages and I kind of wondered at the start because um, it only had 6 grams of yeast in the kit which I thought was a bit odd I, I was also a bit concerned about the fact that it was only a 28 gram uh, dry hop of citra um, yeah, I don't think that was maybe going to do the business, but I'll tell you what, this beer is fantastic. And I don't say that lightly, I really honestly think it's the best I have brewed so far from a kit, including the Golden Stag. Now, I think I'll probably do a separate video on the Golden Stag, uh, but it's, it's a really weird one. I started off and it was very, very fresh. I absolutely adored it, loved it. And then after a while it lost, it seemed to lose its hop aroma and just hop presence really quickly and it went really bitter to the point that I didn't really like it very much, left it a bit longer. The bitterness has subsided but it's just, it's alright. It's not a patch of what it was when it was fresh but, so it's, so yeah this was bottled up on 12th of March, it's now the 26th of March. As I say, it's my birthday, so I know what the date is <laughs> for once. Um, but I'll crack it open and try and do a wee review on it. But it's obviously been, I mean, it was dry hopped after four days, so it was dry hopped for almost three weeks, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it certainly worked. So, now when I bottled it, it was like. It was like pond water, it looked really dodgy and I think it's maybe just because it's got hops in it, you know, I don't think it was anything more than that, I mean, I don't really know if you'll be able to see too well there, probably not, the light's a bit shite in here I'm afraid and I, I'm shooting this on my phone so I don't have a torch either but it's clearish. It's not amazingly clear, but to be honest, I can't really go the monkeys. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That smells amazing. It's got that real sort of tropical mango passion fruit kind of uh, hop aroma. It's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, carbonations come out perfect as well. I didn't use the primary sugar that came with the kit. To be honest, I don't really know how people will have such an issue with priming their beers. I've I prime all my beers exactly the same way in the bottle and it just comes seems to come out fine every time. Never really had an issue. But um don't dive in and I'll toast myself. <laughs> Any excuse, eh? just fantastic. Honestly, if you haven't brewed this kit, don't hesitate, just do it. You will not be disappointed. You might have to brew the way I did it, where you just dry hopping it for a stupid length of time, but it seemed to work. really can't fault it. Honestly, I really can't fault it. It smells great. It tastes absolutely fantastic. There's just enough of a sweetness on it. I mean, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's a sweet beer at all. 
there's just enough just to take the edge off it, you know, so it's just not the bitterness, it kind of balances up nicely. The hops are just fantastic. So you're getting a nice a hoppy aroma off at the start. Slight sweetness up front, but as I say, minimal, and then just get a total burst of hot flavour. And then it just, after that, just goes out into a, a nice level of bitterness. I mean, obviously being an IPA style, it's got quite a bit of bitterness to it, but definitely not over, overly bitter. Just a nice dry finish. It's just, I don't know what else to say about it, really. It's just spot on. Honestly. As I say, if you've not done this kit, it's quite a new one, so you might not really have seen it about. I had to order it online because my local brew shop doesn't actually have it. Um, but yeah, I've, there's a wee picture of the kit in the thumbnail of this video, so you, if you haven't seen it around, you'll see, you'll see what it looks like from that. But as I say, highly recommended, highly recommended. I'll definitely, definitely do this again. In fact, I think this could end up being my staple brew <laughs> if I don't find anything to beat it because it's just fantastic. Just really excellent. Um, so yeah, cheers. Can't fault it, can't fault it. It's just so super, super tasty. Um, it come, I think it's about 5 point, it was bottled at 5.5 .5 and with the priming sugar probably takes it up to what, 5.6, 5.7, 5.8 up push I would say. So then, there you go, that's that. Um, the only other thing I would like to say is a massive thank you to Mr Chris Rennick. Uh, good friend of mine who as yet has not ventured onto YouTube but he uh, gave me a beer kit for my birthday today which was super super nice of him man I can't really thank him enough for that uh, and it was the Young's American Pale Ale so I'm really looking forward to putting that on I think I'll put it on next um, I've also got the Young's uh, IPA to do as well upstairs so I quite fancy trying to you know, compare the two, the Young's and this one here, which is the Mountains one, just to see which one, uh, you know, how we compare against each other, see if we can pick a winner, but uh, so far, that's the one, that's the one, so, yeah, I just wanted to put this out there so that if people are sort of thinking what can I brew next, uh, give that one a shot, as I say, you won't be, you won't be disappointed at all. Right everybody, cheers. I'm away for a few more of these um, and then tomorrow night I'm going to go to the pub. So I've actually taught people into going to Wild Spoons and they were probably like, what the hell are you want to go to Wild Spoons for? But at the moment they have, uh, I was in Oban um, on the west coast of Scotland um, at the weekend there for a wedding and they happened to pop into Wild Spoons. So if you live near one, I'd, it's worth popping in at the moment because they have Devil's Backbone IPA on tap at the moment and it's £2.49 a pint and it's rather nice. Uh, we're also doing Innocent Gun Wagger which is also very nice for £2.49 a pint. <coughs> and they also had 355ml bottles of, um, forgive me if I'm saying this wrong, Lagunitas or Lagunitas I think it is IPA which is a beauty as well. Uh, it's uh, 355 mil as I said and uh, I think uh, that as well is £2.49 along with the usual selection of cat scales and all that kind of stuff so if you're passing by jump in and check them out as well. So I bid you fond farewell and once again I will toast myself happy birthday because there's no one else here to do it for me. Okay? Cheers. <laughs>